Welcome to the demo of Aryabhatad Math Reasoning Model. While the world rushes to build ever larger reasoning models and with deep sea claiming leadership across benchmarks, we pause to ask a more profound question. What should India's answer be to this reasoning revolution? Rather than racing to replicate global trends, we chose to reflect inward. And there, within the folds of our intellectual heritage, we found a timeless treasure. India has always nurtured structured logic, systematic analysis, and symbolic thinking traditions. Among the many giants who shape this legacy, one name shines with enduring brilliance. Aryabhatta. More than 1500 years ago, Aryabhatta, the legendary mathematician and astronomer, revolutionized the world of numbers. From calculating pi with remarkable accuracy to solving complex equations through the Kurtaka algorithm. But perhaps his most revolutionary contribution was the formalization of the place value system, which paved the way for the invention of zero, a foundational concept that enabled the representation of large numbers, the abstraction of absence, and the birth of modern arithmetic itself. His work embodied clarity, method, and mathematical elegance. Today, we carry that legacy forward through the Arya Bhatha reasoning framework a modular, explainable, and culturally rooted paradigm for mathematical problem solving. It is designed not only for human interpretability, but also for educational transparency. Arya Bhatha, a reasoning framework tailored for mathematical domains and inspired by classical Indian mathematical pedagogy. Arya Bhatha's Arya Bhathechi introduces algorithmic methods like the Kutta Kha, which unfold over structured derivation chains with embedded inputs and recomputed outputs. Mahavira's Ganeta Sara Sangraha formalizes this even further by clearly segmenting the data, the unknown, the method, and the result in each chapter. Even in Jaina mathematical texts, such as Surya Pranapti or Triloka Sara, we find dialogic or didactic formats where given data and queries are separated and reasoning proceeds through verbal logic toward an asserted solution. These historical exemplars support the structure of the Aryabhata framework not just as a modern engineering choice, but as a culturally grounded reasoning pipeline optimized for mathematical cognition. The stepwise structure of the Aryabhata reasoning framework. We begin with Veseya. The problem statement sets the scene for inquiry. Detam, the known or given quantities. Yacham the desired unknowns or what is to be determined. This sets up the problem setup phase. Next comes problem analysis. Veslesana, breaking down the problem into meaningful subparts. Pari kalpane, introducing simplifying assumptions where necessary to navigate ambiguity or abstraction. Then follows the derivation ko. Upapati, performing the symbolic transformation or logical derivation. Promana, referencing the rule, theorem, or axiom used at each step. Avadharana, applying constraints or logical filters that bound or validate the solution path. For recursive or layered logic, we transition into the recursive reasoning phase. Bhavana, engaging in constructive reasoning using auxiliary results. Anuviti, carrying forward previously derived conclusions into later stages. Next, we verify. Pariksa, a sanity check or internal validation through back substitution, unit testing, or logic checks. Finally, we conclude with Porinama, the precise final answer fully justified and aligned with the given. The framework also supports two powerful extensions, Siddhanta, where we distill a general rule or principle from the derivation, a theorem-like insight that extends beyond the problem, Sardhya Sathana, where the current solution becomes an intermediate step in a larger chain of reasoning or a multi-part problem. The Arya Bhatta reasoning framework is more than a sequence of steps. It is a philosophy. A bridge between ancient logic and modern interpretability, between structured stages clarity and insight-driven thoughts flexibility. In a world too often obsessed with mere outcomes, Arya Bhatta reminds us of the power of process, that to understand is greater than to compute. In total, the Arya Bhatta reasoning framework isn't just a reasoning scaffold. It is a bridge between timeless epistemology and contemporary cognitive paradigms. It invites learners and models to think systematically reflect deeply, and derive with transparency, rigor, and confidence. Let us see the Arya Bhatta Mathematical Reasoning Framework in action, using an actual question from the UPSC Civil Services Examination. This problem belongs to the domain of three-dimensional vectors in geometry of planes, a topic that blends algebraic manipulation with geometric interpretation. 
India is home to over a billion minds and more than 20 official languages. Indian students want to grasp mathematical concepts better when taught in their mother tongue. That's why the Arya Bhati reasoning framework embraces multilingual narratives, starting with English, Hindi, and Bengali, with more languages like Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, and Kannada in the pipeline. This ensures that learners across India, from Maharashtra to Bengal and Northeast, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, students can understand, reflect on mathematical reasoning, and learn in their own language. But there's more. Math is not one-dimensional. Every step, whether symbolic, algebraic, or geometric, can have multiple valid derivations. We provide alternative detailed narratives for each step. Some emphasize intuition, others formalism, and some explore the conceptual why behind the how. Whether you're a school student, appearing joint entrance, or an UPSC aspirant, or an AI agent in training, you'll find an explanation path that fits your way of thinking. The Aryabhata reasoning framework is not just structured, it's adaptive, inclusive, and deeply Indian. Step 1. VSIAP. Problem Statement. We are given three three-dimensional vectors defined using two real variables, alpha and beta. These vectors are named OP, OQ, and OR, all originating from the origin. It is given that the scalar triple product of these three vectors is zero. This condition implies that the vectors lie in the same plane. They are coplanar. Additionally, a point whose coordinates are alpha, beta, and 2 is said to lie on a plane. The equation of this plane is 3x plus 3y minus c plus l equals 0. Our goal is to find the value of the unknown constant L. Step 2, that n, known information. Let's define the three vectors clearly. OP is open bracket alpha minus 1 by alpha comma 1 comma 1. OQ is open bracket 1 comma beta minus 1 by beta comma 1. OR is open bracket 1 comma 1 comma 1 half. It is given that the scalar triple product, that is the dot product of OP cross OQ with OR equals 0. Also given, the point alpha, beta, 2 lies on the plane, whose equation is 3x plus 3y minus z plus l equals 0. Step 3. Yak yam. What is to be found? We are required to calculate the value of the constant l, such that the point alpha, beta, 2 lies on the given plane. Step 4. Vislesana. Problem decomposition. We interpret the scalar triple product condition as a coplanarity test. Our plan is to compute the cross product of op and oq and then take its dot product with or. We'll call the cross product vector a. So a equals op cross oq. Then we calculate a dot or and set the result equal to zero. Step five. Parikalpana. Assumptions we assume that alpha is not equal to zero and beta is not equal to zero. This ensures that divisions by alpha or beta are mathematically valid and avoid undefined expressions. Step 6. Yupa Patti. Symbolic transformation. We compute the cross product of OP and OQ using determinate rules. This gives us a vector with three components, each involving alpha and beta. After simplification, we denote this resulting vector as A. Step 7. The Pramana. Rules or axioms applied. Next, we compute the dot product of vector A with OR. Each component of A is multiplied with the corresponding component of OR and their sum is set equal to zero. This gives us an algebraic equation involving alpha and beta derived directly from the geometric condition of coplanarity. Step 8. Abhatharana. Constraint enforcement. To simplify the expression, we multiply both sides of the equation by 2 alpha beta. This clears out the denominators and gives us a clean linear equation. After simplification, we obtain alpha equals 3 beta minus 1. This is a key result. It gives us a direct relationship between alpha and beta. Step 9 Bhavana, recursive construction. We now substitute the expression for alpha, which is 3 beta minus 1, into the point alpha beta 2. That gives us a single point with coordinates 3 beta minus 1 beta and 2. Step 10, Anubriti, reuse of prior results. Now, we substitute this point into the equation of the plane. We plug in the x, y and z coordinates into the equation, 3x plus 3y minus z plus l equals 0. Solving this, 
we find that L equals negative 12 beta plus 5. Step 11, Pariksa. Sanity check. Let's test our result with a specific value. Suppose beta equals 1, then alpha equals 2. So the point becomes 2, 1, 2. Substitute into the plane equation 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1 minus 2 plus L equals 0. That gives 6 plus 3 minus 2 plus L equals 0, 7 plus L equals 0. So L equals negative 7. This verifies our computation. Step 12. Parinama. Final answer. We conclude with two results. The general expression for L is negative 12 beta plus 5. For the specific case when beta is 1, L equals negative 7. This is the final answer. Step 13. Siddhanta. Generalized principle. When the scalar triple product of three vectors is 0, it implies that the vectors are coplanar. This geometric condition lets us derive relationships between parameters like alpha and beta. Substituting these into the equation of a plane helps us solve for unknown constants like L. This approach is a reusable reasoning principle in vector geometry. Step 14. Sadhya Sadhana Intermediate Goal in Larger Chain Here we first use the coplanarity condition to derive the relation. Alpha equals 3 beta minus 1. Then we substitute it into the plane condition to get L equals negative 12 beta plus 5. Finally, we tested with beta equals 1 and found L equals negative 7. Each step served as a milestone or intermediate solved state, leading us toward the final solution. How is the Aryabhata framework different or even better than chain of thought? It begins with structure. While chain of thought or quote allows a model to reason step by step, it does so in a free-form, spontaneous way, often mimicking how a student might think out loud. It's flexible, yes, but it's also messy. Steps are uneven, logic is entangled, and when things go wrong, it's hard to say where, why, or how. The Aryabhata framework offers a different philosophy. Clarity through structure. Inspired by the precision of ancient pedagogy, it breaks down every reasoning task into 14 clearly defined semantic steps. Each step is modular purposeful and interpretable. From identifying the givens to validating the solution, the framework ensures that reasoning isn't just happening, it's traceable. But the real power lies in its alignment. These steps aren't arbitrary. They correspond directly to how we teach, how we assess, and how learners actually learn. Each step can be mapped to curriculum goals, examination rubrics, and classroom instruction, enabling not just problem solving, but real-time diagnostics error localization, and targeted feedback. Where co is general purpose and unstructured, the Aryabhata framework is domain-optimized and education-aligned. Purpose-built for mathematics, logic, and multilingual reasoning. It scales from classroom tutoring to advanced AI, all while preserving transparency at every stage. It doesn't just solve problems, it understands them, explains them, and teaches them. From spontaneous sparks to structured brilliance, this is reasoning reimagined. The Aryabhata framework works great across many types of mathematical problems, like arithmetic, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and combinatorics. It performs better or is highly competitive with chain of thought in most areas. Chain of thought is designed for general purpose reasoning. It works well for flexible tasks like word problems or data interpretation, but it lacks the structure needed for precise multi-step math. In contrast, the Arya Bhata framework follows a clear 14-step process. It helps models reason in a way that's accurate, explainable, and easy to evaluate. Thanks for watching. The Pragya team is dedicated to building more than just a model. We are nurturing a movement, a movement that makes structured reasoning accessible, that celebrates linguistic diversity, and that honors the legacy of Indian knowledge systems while advancing AI and neural learning for all. This is only the beginning. Stay tuned.